Thanks, guys. Dave Revson here with Eric Winalda. And so disappointment for Poland now as last two World Cups, only one team that lost its first match has managed to get out of the first round. That was Turkey in 2002. But the story here, Eric, is Ecuador. What do you make of the How win? How about Ecuador? I mean, this is this is a team that is that this is, shouldn't be so much of a surprise. They, they, they had the, the physicality out there today. They look better than Poland. Poland looks sluggish to me. I think they're, that, that's pretty much it for them. But this is a good team. I'd like to be in Quito tonight, man. That, it's gonna that's be a fun. good place to be. I, I mean, this is a team that beat Brazil in qualifying. They beat Argentina in qualifying. A lot of people dismiss that as saying it was just the high elevation of Quito. Perhaps I don't think that's the, the case. High elevation this team looks pretty Quito. good. Yeah, Very impressive good. Impressive performance by Ecuador. Well, speaking of playing well at home, that's exactly what the Germans were hoping to do. They'll have the home field advantage, obviously, as long as they can keep going in this World Cup. We'll show you how they started against Costa Rica. That's coming up next. Pares. Un, dos y tres. Ay. Si se. Kaká. Fidan. Beckham. Defoe. Can. Messi. Riquel. Platini. Platini. Soy el capitán. so much for so little may become commonplace. And when that happens, perhaps we'll look back and say it all started here. Introducing the all-new 2006 Azera. What are you holding now? A six-pack. A six-pack? Brilliant! What you do? Well, I figured out how to carry six beers at the same time. Carry six beers at the same time? Brilliant! Let's drink them. You know, I've been thinking. It might not be the smartest idea to drink six beers at the same time. Don't drink six beers at the same time? Brilliant! Brilliant! Drink in a draft straight from the bottle and always enjoy it responsibly. Brilliant! It's Saturday Night Lights at Texas Motor Speedway as the Bombardier Learjet 500 comes to town. Last year, it was Thomas Schechter taking the checkered flag. This year, it's Sam Hornish Jr., Elio Castroneves, and Team Penske that have all the momentum. But they'd better watch out for young guns Marco Andretti and Danica Patrick as they look to add a Texas victory to their already brilliant 2006 seasons. The IndyCar Series drama continues in Texas, Saturday, 9 p.m. Honey, who's this? Looking to upgrade? Upgrade today to Comcast Digital Cable. More channels, more movies, more music. Just call 1-888-COMCAST. Comcast Digital Cable. It's Comcastic. Sir, <clears throat> excuse me. I came in for the hot deals here at Gillespie. <laughs> How about this G6 right here? What about financing? My credit isn't all that great. <laughs> Sir, what about the hot deals? <laughs> wow, deals are hot here at Gillespie on 66 and Western. Time now for our T-Mobile Man of the Match, and it is Carlos Tenorio getting the goal that put Ecuador in front for good. This was unexpected that they would have this kind of dominance up front with Tenorio and Delgado. They dominated the, the, the entire game, both on the ground and in the air. Great goal. You score a game-winning goal in a World Cup, you get to be the uh, Man of the Match. Just his sixth ever international goal, first ever in a World Cup as Ecuador gets the somewhat surprising win. How about earlier today, Germany trying to continue a trend as the hosts were 13-0-5 all-time in World Cup openers. They'd have to do it without Michael Bollock, who sat this one out with a calf injury. How about Philipp Lahm? Philipp Lahm, this is the start that all of Germany was anticipating. It did get a little scary here. You see the, the offside trap fails. Wanchope gets in. Great finish to make it one-to-one. -one. That place got pretty quiet in a hurry, but 
The Germans responded well. They got two great goals out of Klose. Here's the second one. Misses the first one, follows it up, and then it's Frings who actually just finishes this game off. So there's nothing to worry about. 4-2 is the, the final score. Great start for Germany. How about Klose? Two goals on his birthday. Second player ever to do that in the World Cup. Roger Hurst did it for England in 66. So here's how it looks now in Group A. Germany and Ecuador each come out with three points, meaning the big match might turn out to be Germany-Ecuador, which is on June the 20th. Here's what we've got coming up. Another day of the FIFA World Cup presented by Adidas Saturday. We've got two matches for you on ABC, starting with England and Paraguay, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Then Trinidad and Tobago, the smallest country ever to qualify for the World Cup. Just 1.3 million people. They will take on the high-scoring Swedes at noon Eastern on ABC. Then here on ESPN2, it is Argentina, a team that some people like to make it all the way through, taking on the Ivory Coast for a talented team out of Africa. That is just before 3 o'clock Eastern time. All right, Eric, day one in the books. Your thoughts? Well, I think there's two things going on. two parties going on. There, and the home side has one, which makes a pretty good scenario in Germany. And obviously, Keto is having a good time right now as well. Uh, Eric, will elaborate on that coming up on World Cup Live. That comes your way midnight Eastern time as part of the trifecta on ESPN. We have today at the Belmont coming up next here on ESPN2. We leave you, though, with a look back at day one of the World Cup, including this match between Poland and Ecuador. We'll see you at midnight Eastern time, ESPN. A 2 nothing winner over Poland, Eric. You know, this, is the, this is what you love to see at the beginning of a World Cup. You, know, you can say it's an upset, you can say whatever you want, a surprise victory, but you love to see the little fish doing well. Now, this is a team in Ecuador that beat Croatia in 2002.